So as you can probably see behind me, the new build is all done. Um, I tried to get more of a progress build log going. Uh, you know, showing me actually putting together a new PC and stuff, but unfortunately the lighting wasn't that great and I couldn't really get any good camera angles, so that might be something I'll have to save for future stuff when I have better lighting and a more dedicated space for that sort of thing, but yeah, this turned out pretty well. The, w this wasn't really much of a performance upgrade, more of an, an upgrade on looks. <laughs> I mean, there's some uh, changes to performance and such. So the, the big change here is the new, new case. Uh, I went from a full tower uh, case, the Rosewell Thor V2, and yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm really going to be working with um, full size towers anymore because they're just so big and heavy and just a pain to work ar around when you're just changing stuff in it because you have to just big and bulky and you get my point. The mid tower, the mid size tower case is a lot better for changing around stuff. And since I'm only using an ATX board motherboard, it just it works better. <laughs> I got the full tower before because back then I was thinking, oh, full tower means uh, more airflow because there's more space. Nope, no, that's not really how it works. You actually have to research that stuff and get reviews of cases and stuff, but um, the case I have now has quite a bit of airflow in it because the hard drives are in the back of the case, uh, kind of laying sideways, so there's like nothing here to block the airflow, it's just air going straight through, so that should help with keeping the case pretty cool. And this case is actually really good for if you want to do water cooling setups, like the front side here is just... It's just begging for a, uh, a reservoir for water, a, 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 a reservoir for water cooling, and that might be something I'm going to do in the future, just not within the near future because I don't have the funds or the time to dedicate to that. I have a good idea of how... I would set it up, but it's just I don't have the funds or the time to do something like that. So I th I'm going to be sticking with, um, at the moment, I'm sticking with the air cooling, but uh, hopefully within a couple weeks, I'm going to be getting a all-in-one liquid cooler to put in there. And that's, an that's another thing I should probably point out, is with this build, the cooler that I currently have in there, the, what is it, the Noctua big freaking CPU cooler, that thing is it's the bane of my existence now. <laughs> I mean, performance wise, it works, it keeps my processor pretty cool, but it's just like, it looks ugly, like straight up just ugly. It's taking up all the top half of my motherboard here, so I can't see all the nice, um, the black and white theme of the motherboard, which was the only reason I got that motherboard. <laughs> like, the motherboard is also another thing I changed in this, uh, upgrade, but that's mostly because I wanted a motherboard that has a black and white theme, and this cooler blocks all of that, so I'm looking forward to when I get my new on one cooler because that'll just be a little thing that goes on there and then just a couple pipes that go over to the radiator on the side here. But not only that, this thing kept getting in the way as I'm putting as I was putting this unit together. Like there's what like three hard drives not hard drive, three screws that go on the motherboard on the top there and I was just like it's trying to reach in with my giant hands and it's just it kept getting in the way and like I lose a screw in there so like shake the unit around to get the screw out it's like ugh, I don't like it I don't like that screw that not screw that that cooler 
I'm really hoping I can swap that out within the next couple weeks. But, um, yeah, I think that was the only real issue I had uh, during this build. The hard drive setup was a little awkward because it's all on the side of the back of the case. So it was kind of awkward putting in some of the, S the SATA cables and stuff, but I got the, it's, once you like get the hang of that, it's not a big deal. Uh, cable management, I do really like the soft Velcro straps that Fractal Design puts in this case. It really helped with cable management and uh, at first I did kind of have a problem putting the side of the case back on. Uh, but that was mostly because the power, the motherboard power cable was just bulging out. I've managed to kind of sneak that in and just like put it over, run it over the um, hard drive power connectors. And that seems to have gotten rid of all the bulk on the back of the unit there. Another thing that I, uh, unfortunate thing that happened during the delivery of this case is there's a big dent in the, one of the, in the side panel of this unit. So... I'm probably going to have to send an email to Fractal Design and ask for a replacement for that. So hopefully that will, there'll be no problems with that. Uh, that's just, it, it's just, you know, when you order stuff, sometimes in the delivery, you'll bump into something and get damaged. So luckily it's just like the back of the case. So it doesn't do anything in terms of performance or like, anything at all it's just a look an aesthetic look that's kind of unfortunate but um yeah I'm probably I'm probably gonna see if I can get a replacement for that hopefully soon now as for future upgrades I'm gonna be doing with this system and which I'll probably be doing actual progress videos on a uh, couple things I do want to do is on the uh, power cable power cable side um, you, you might notice, uh, through some of the footage here and maybe I, I can't tell if you can see it in the, this footage right here, but, um, there's that big red, uh, graphics card power cable there. And of course I'm going for a black and white build and there's this big red cable there. It's like, ah, it looks so ugly. Um, but that I'm going to be replacing along with all the other cables in there, uh, except for maybe like the one SATA cable and a couple other things. But um, yeah, those I'm going to be replacing. Um, I'm going to sometime in the near future order everything in the near, near future and stuff. But at some point I'm going to be ordering uh, cables from CableMod.com. Uh, well, not from directly from their website. They you have to go to a, another reseller and. Anyways, I'm going to be ordering some new cables from them. They have some really nice black and white cables that I'm probably going to put in there and it really fits with my theme and stuff. So that will probably match up better with the build and will make everything look a lot nicer. I've also found um, a website that sells kind of like an extension cable for the USB 3.0 hub. And that's really nice because I'm not sure if you can see any of the and the footage, the footage I got of this, but the plug that connects to the motherboard from the front panel of the case that for the uh, USB ports up there, it's just like this big bulgy cable that just goes at around and then just sticks into the top of the motherboard and just it just it just looks ugly. I just I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be getting a extension cable that'll make it look a lot flatter and more flesh with the build so that hopefully will improve the aesthetic look of the inside of the case um, other than that oh right the next thing I'm going to be doing is changing the color scheme on my graphics card so right now I have a GTX 970 in there and it's a really nice mother, mother, mother I almost called it a mother card. It's, <laughs> it's a really nice graphics card and I don't think I'll be changing it out anytime soon. Um, but 
it is black and red, which again, doesn't fit the theme. So I'm going to be taking off the plastic shrouding on that. And I got this stuff here and hold on one second. Let me just grab it. Right. And there it is. Uh, so I got this stuff here. Uh, Plasti dip. Not sure if that's going to be mirrored or not. Is this mirrored? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a good camera person, but I got this um, plasti dip here that I'm going to be painting over the red part of the uh, graphics card shroud with. And that shouldn't cause any problems because the plastic shroud that goes over the graphics card, it doesn't really do much except look cool. Um, it does direct some airflow a little bit, but it doesn't affect any of the performance or anything with the graphics card. Um, doesn't have, it doesn't come in contact with any of the wiring or circuitry of the graphics card, so painting over that won't cause too many problems. And on top of that, Plasti Dip, the stuff I got here, is a pla it's like a plastic base paint, so even if it does come in contact with any circuitry or stuff, it won't conduct any electricity because it's plastic. Along with that, it's a lot easier to peel off plastic dip. So if like I do for some reason need to return the graphics card, although I've had it for like a m couple months now, so I think I'm good with it for now. So uh, if I do need to RMA it or something, I can just carefully peel off the plastic dip, I believe, I think so. Um, but yeah, that will give me a nice black and white uh, theme to the graphics card. I also found a website. I think it's v1tech.com or something like that um, They have some pretty nifty backplates for um, Different graphics cards Not a wide selection, but they do have a Custom backplate you can get that has the MSI dragon logo on it So I'm probably gonna pick up one of those to put on the back of my graphics card just to make it look cooler Just to look cooler. That's all and yeah, um, other things I might be doing is on the little, on the front panel here, um, I might paint this part white, this little front panel thing here. I might, I might paint this white along with the grill thing on the side here, or I'll leave this black and paint this part here and then like the little front IO thing on the top here. Um, I'm still deciding on that. I might get a opinion from a few other people to see what they think. And also, another thing I want to do with um, this thing is cut out a logo on the front here. Um, logo will most likely be whatever my future logo for this channel will be. I need to talk to some of my artistic friends and see if any of them would like to help make my channel look a little pretty. But, um,. Whatever logo I do end up getting, do end up with for my channel, I'll probably cut it out on the front here, and then I'll put some LED lights back here, and so anytime the computer turns on, it'll just glow blue. Um, I also put some blue blue LED lights in the inside the case here, probably along the the top and bottom section here, just to you know make it look all neat, black and white with uh, blue LEDs. I just want to see if I can maybe change the LED on the graphics card there. So like there's a little MSI um, LED on there. I oh, thought the TV was on for a second there. But there's like a MSI um, glowing logo there. So I'm probably going to see if I can maybe change that to be blue. Um, but if not, no big deal. It's white so it doesn't clash at all. Uh, but I would like to make all like the light up parts of my build to be blue. So that's about it with um, where my <laughs> custom PC is right now. Uh, I really wish I could have gotten some footage of me putting this together. But like I said, the lighting just wasn't working out because I was doing this at night. So I wasn't getting any of this natural light that you currently are seeing in this footage. And since it's a black case, it's really hard to see inside of it, especially with the bad lighting. And also this camera isn't that great. This, this is actually my phone. <laughs> this is all recorded on my uh, Samsung Galaxy S6, so 
I mean, it's a decent camera, but I would eventually like to upgrade this to a proper camera and not have it mounted to my tripod with a home built cardboard stand. <laughs> um, but yeah, so hopefully the, this was somewhat interesting for you guys and definitely in the future I'm going to be posting um, more progress videos, you know, I'll post a video of me spray painting the graphics card. I'll probably get my girlfriend to help me film that and or record that because this isn't film. I know some people are all like, it's not film. Anyways, uh, and I'll get stuff like that to share. And I also have some family and friends who uh, are interested in getting new PCs set up for themselves. And they've been talking to me about that, so maybe it maybe I'll see if they're up for me making a video of me building their computers and stuff. Maybe I don't know. Uh, but other than that, um, that's about it. If you did enjoy this video, you know, feel free to leave a like in the description thing, and. Um, yeah, if you have any suggestions for what you think I should do with this, especially what you think I should do for the color scheme on the front here, then leave a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with all the computer stuff I'm going to be doing here, then feel free to subscribe. And uh, I, I, I'm. Just... Bye. <laughs>